Okay, we're we're on, and um, yeah, morning morning meditation. So I did uh, last week talk about having a morning routine, having a morning routine and making it um, making it non-negotiable. I think that was one of the things that that I said to myself with my morning spiritual routine <coughs> is that it's non-negotiable and. Um, Having had a sort of a near-deathish near spiritual experience and then been given a DVD of Dr. Hawkins and studying his work, everything, everything that I experience is related to my consciousness level. So uh, the higher the higher my spiritual vibration, that's going to reflect my whole life. Or as Hawkins talks, about, there are tractor fields. So if I'm in like if I'm just in feeling extreme fear and separation. You know how I see the world and what shows up for me is going to have a very very strong thing. So it's not about controlling the world. So it really, it's it's more about how can I maintain the highest vibration today, and and the I come from in my primary addiction is food addiction. You know one of the you know that and a few other addictions took me to kidney failure, and. Um, and then I had the spiritual experience when I surrendered in the hospital bed. And it was kind of, it's kind of obvious. If I want that, I have to tune into that power. I have to tune into that power. And that power is the thing that will orchestrate my day. You know, and, that, and as an addict, it's kind of, I don't know, it intuitively came to me, it's obvious. If, I, if I'm an addict, like let's say one of my binge foods was donuts. So if the first thing I wake up as a food addict is I want to eat. You know, so if I wake up, the first thought will be like, let's eat. So you know, just grab, grab, so go to the kitchen immediately as you wake up and get some food. So, I mean, that's kind of obvious where I am with my level of consciousness. It means, you know, that I'm in the field of addiction. I'm in the field of I'm not enough and I need something to fill the hole inside. So, so then if God is my God or if connecting to the highest spiritual vibration, then it must be the first thing in the morning you know, is to connect to, to God, you know, because that's so symbolic, you know, it's like if my guardian angels are like watching over me and they can like give me some guidance in the beginning of the day and the first thing I do is eat some donuts, then my connection's gone, you know, I'm just like, my ego will inflate more, I'll eat more donuts, then I'll put the TV on, then I'll start looking at some YouTube videos and then nothing's going to come in and my whole day's going to go bad. And I think a lot of people in 12-step programs uh, or doing spiritual work will know that if you start off the day feeling bad, everything goes bad. You know, it's like I always sh share these things like when I'm disconnected in the morning, like I miss every bus and every tube I miss by one second. It's like if the bus is just leaving as I'm approaching the bus stop and the tube is just leaving as I get the platform. And if I've like tuned up in the morning, it's like, oh, every bus arrives on time, every tube's not there. And I know, it's like I know, I'm connected. You know, it's not that it's, it's always guaranteed, but then it's so... Uh, a lot of life actually is symbolic. You know, connecting to God is symbolic. It's like, you know, to have the intention... Uh, to have the intention that I want to connect to, to you know, the, uh, the sunlight of the Spirit or to the highest vibration or to be my maximum potential. A lot of it's symbolic. Like if, Symbolically, if I put food first in the morning or if I put that. So, so I know that I want the buses to arrive on time today. I know I want the, the universe to be on my side today. I know I want a defense against negativity and bad situations coming my way. I know I want guidance. There was a lovely thing that Hawkins said, actually, because I know there's some Hawkins people here. He said that what keeps you safe uh, in the day is your connection, is your spiritual connection. That's the only thing that keeps you safe. It's like when you're spiritually connected, something reminds you to take an umbrella when you go out. Something reminds you to make sure you take your vitamin tablets. And that's because you're spiritually connected. When you're not spiritually connected, those reminders don't come in. So what it is that's giving you that guidance and orchestrating you to do all the things that will look after you, you know, is, is the grace, is your connection to God. So I thought, okay, so it's not about me mentally remembering to pick up uh, the, I mean, of course, uh, that brings us on to electronic uh, reminders, but I won't go into that right now. But, uh, 
but it, it's the grace that lets you know. So I thought, okay, so I need the highest spiritual vibration. Also, the thing is, uh, what I find where I am now is that as soon as I get on my knees, I can feel the connection come. I pray, then I do my Course in Miracles, uh, I do the Observer and, and the Field of Feelings for five minutes. I do a lot of the Course in Miracles things, handing lots of things over into, into God's hands. And that routine, at the mor my morning routine at the moment is about just under an hour every morning. I wake up at 6 a.m. just to make sure I can get everything done that I want to like get that connection. And I know that's what's going to be orchestrating. And, I, and it's like when I'm doing that stuff, I, I, it's like I get a download of input. I can, you know, I'm sure it, I probably it could be, it could be, um, you could say it's the guardian angel or the, or an inner intuition, Hello? but I'm getting all of these, um, all of these um, things, like remember to do this, remember to do that, stay away from that, oh, you haven't spoken to that person, it all comes in as I'm doing the, 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 morning, uh, the morning stuff. So I know that if I just was, was to eat some donuts and just put some TV on, I know none of that would come in, I know my whole day would be an ego, and also all this negative stuff, so it's like, it's critical, it's critical. And um, so that's the thing, I would say, like my morning routine is like tuning up to grace, and to have a day of grace and a defense against all the, all the horrible things that keeps it at bay. I know, I know people who've done a lot of spiritual work, once you get disconnected, it's like it's all this bad stuff comes in. Yeah, everyone knows that, you know, it's like as soon as you allow yourself to go into extreme fear and resentment, it's like, you realize that there's a grace or a protection that's keeping all the bad stuff away. Suddenly those people you, you don't want to see, suddenly they show up. Suddenly it's like everything, you know, financial stuff goes, goes off. So that's the thing. So I really do encourage morning routines. Uh, and I think mornings are really, really important because what's the, I mean, yeah, this is good to do a late evening, like to be in your, eat some donuts, have a coffee, put the TV on and then do a, a, an evening thing. But intuitively, I know to do a morning thing is a much better thing for me because I don't want to have a whole bad day and then tune up. Also, um, I've also experienced this. I go to 12-step meetings every day. And um, like sometimes, even if I feel a bit disconnected, like sometimes I'll be disconnected in, in the morning and it's like the buses, I'm missing the buses, and I'll go do a spiritual top-up midday and then all the buses will start arriving on time. It's because I just got to a higher connection. So I can, I can directly see how my vibration is shifting, what, what's happening in my day. So that's the thing on that.